Oh boy. We need to address the elephant in the room. My ear purifier. Yeah, that's totally what this video is about. I should just roll this thing. I'm only gonna tie one of these. I, I just don't care. I'm just gonna throw this on top. I don't care. That is my Nepenthe Sanguinea. It is the tallest Nepenthes I have. It's the only Nepenthes I've ever had Vine. As you can see, it's just too tall for this place. And I'm gonna be chopping it down today. This is gonna be really hard. It's the longest I've ever kept a Nepenthes Vine. Normally I don't like Nepenthes getting too tall, but this one just kept going, it kept vining. It gave me my first upper picture, and I just kept going up and up and up. I just don't know what to do with this plant. I don't have any lights hanging on top, and I'm just not really interested in this plant going crazy. Besides, it's got quite a few basils down there, and I thought, why not just chop it down? It's a lot harder than it sounds. So pretty much what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna chop down this vine, and I'm actually gonna make my own stem cuttings that I can use as stem plants. Okay, so. All right. Suck. Okay, so your first step on chopping down your Nepenthes is you start at the very bottom. This is really hard. <laughs> I can't bring myself to do it. Come on. It happened. Oh, God. Okay. I don't know if I regret that decision or not. Damn. That's the longest I've ever kept a vine. Let me get rid of these zip ties. Oh, man. My first ever upper pitcher. So when it comes to making stem cuttings, your first step is remove the pitchers. Oh. <laughs> You're supposed to remove half the leaf. Oh man, that hurts so, oh, it spilled everywhere. <laughs> oh man, that hurt. I'm gonna clean that up. So yeah, cut every leaf about halfway because they're just kind of getting in the way, especially with the tendrils. So now that you cut pretty much most of your leaves, you want to start making your first cuts. Each leaf has some kind of node, and every node actually has a chance to strike, which means grow a new offshoot. The top piece is pretty much a guarantee. So I'm actually gonna cut it around here. Do that. And I'm actually gonna allow two nodes per cutting. And cut it at a slight angle, like this. Okay. Oh God, that... <laughs> Hey, I'm editing. Oh God, no, don't look at that. Okay, uh, don't look at that either. I didn't explain why you need to cut it at an angle because the more surface area that cut has, the more roots that will grow out. It's a small difference, but it's a difference, damn it. Okay, that wasn't very clean. Let me try again. There we go, that's way better. And that's about all I'm gonna use. Typically the older part of the stems don't strike as much and this woody bit never strike. I still can't believe I did this. I can actually remove this stake now. And what am I gonna use this stake for? I have no idea. But I'll put it somewhere because I'll probably find some use for it later. It has three strong basils right now. And because the plant has such good roots now, these basils are gonna explode. I can't, I'm actually quite excited for that. I'm gonna grab some paper towels real quick and I'm gonna clean up this floor. The floor is just covered in Nepenthes goop right now. Too lazy to go upstairs for the paper towel, so I'm just gonna use toilet paper. Come on, Aldi brand toilet paper. This stuff feels like you're wiping your ass with wallpaper, but it sure as hell grips. <laughs> so we're gonna start with the smallest one here, which is actually the top one. So you're gonna get your pot, your appropriate Nepenthe soil mix, which I just use sphagnum moss and perlite. Nothing crazy, nothing special. So we have our first cutting right here. Sphagnum moss looks so good when it's fresh. Just kinda stick them in there like that. This one's actually quite large. This is probably one of the older ones. So I'm gonna put that one in a larger pot. <laughs> stick it in the pooper, just like that. Assorted foliage. <laughs> you might need to pack these a little bit harder just to keep them stable, but don't pack them too hard because Nepenthes roots are quite fragile. Well, I mean, these don't have roots yet, but whenever they do, they're gonna be very, very fine and brittle. Now I'll give them a good spritz. Like churning butter. What are you doing? There we go. Okay. There we go. That's more like it. I'm getting impatient here. You want to keep these guys very wet because once they dry up, pfft, game over. I'm just going to set these next to my grow lights. Or shoot, you just set next to the windowsill. Who cares? But keep them wet. Then they'll root. And once they root, I'm just gonna keep them in the pots for quite some time. And I'm probably just gonna sell them off next time I'm to Red Leaf Exotics. So yeah, that's how you properly make Nepenthe stem cuttings. I'm heartbroken, but at the same time, I'm relieved. I did what had to be done. Oh, my poor boy, he's so small now. It's fine, you'll get big again. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I appreciate you guys for watching. Please give me a like. You can also hit that subscribe button if you want to. It's totally free. I mean, you don't really have to, but it'd be much appreciated. And also leave a comment. I'm down for positive and even critical comments. Let me know what I can do better for these videos. But yeah, that's it. Uh, goodbye.